fangavin.com. What's it all about? Now, I want you to remember that no bastard ever beat the SPLC being all peely wally and eating jammy dodgers on the couch. He succeeded by getting off his ass while those peely wallies ate jammy dodgers on the couch. Big man, all this stuff you've heard about the Southern Poverty Law Center is a load of absolute shit. Americans traditionally are buzzing for free speech. All real Americans are mad with saying what they think, even when their patter is rotten. When you were Waynes, when you all admired the controversial comedians, the Billy Connollys, the outspoken class clown, the old man feed on the road, he wouldn't take any shite like Rob Bloody Nesbitt or even Jack and Victor. Americans love free speech and they're not going to tolerate a load of pure shit dafties taking it away. No. I would never say, oh, your wish to a man whose bum was out the windy. That's why Americans have never lost and never will lose free speech. Because the very thought of having no right is hateful to Americans. The perverted Peter Puffers who wrote that stuff about Ma Wayne don't know anything more about the real free speech battle than they know about getting their hole. And I've got a strong feeling these Jessies haven't even winched a bird. Now, we have the best spirit and the best innovators in the world. You know, by God, I actually pity those lazy crybaby bastards we're going up against. By God, I do. And we're not just going to fight the SPLC. We're going to sue them and use their jobbies to grease the wheels of freedom. We're going to beat those bastards one lawsuit at a time. Now, some of you boys and girls and Zs or whatever made up pronouns you have, I know some of you are wondering or not, I'll chicken you out of fire. Don't worry about that. I can assure you I'll do my duty. The SPLC and their elk are the enemy and I'll set about them. I'll give them the Glasgow kiss and have them spend their spawn doolies on lawyers. We're going to grab the SPLC by the dick and we're going to kick them in the ass. We're going to kick the hell out of them all the time and we're going to fight through them like crap through a goose. It's going to be a square go and they're going to be guys scattered. Now, there's one thing we'll be able to say after this fight and you may thank God or me for it. 30 years from the new, when you're sitting around the fireside with your grand wing on your knee and he asks you, here you, what did you do about free speech? You won't have to say, well, I sat down and watched it all come crashing down. All right, now, you sons of bitches. You know how I feel. I may be out my nut, but I'm game, and that's what matters. And I will be bloody proud to lead you people into this legal battle anytime, anywhere, nay danger. DefendGavin.com. That's all.